Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome into my new home office. Um, today I wanted to do a very quick video just to tell you this like really random interest rate hack that I seem to have, I don't know, discovered, thought of, whatever the word would be, thought of because I didn't read it anywhere. I just sort of came up with it myself. And perhaps you already do this, perhaps you don't, but in case you don't, I just wanted to share it because it's a pretty cool little hack where you can make a little bit more interest from money that you might not necessarily be able to put into saving. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I make videos about saving money, investing, becoming financially independent and generally just bossing life and your career and things like that. If that interests you, please do check out my other videos and subscribe if you are interested. But without further ado, this will hopefully be a fairly quick video. So let's just get straight into it. So here's the thing. I have a very, well, I was about to say a very high interest savings account. That is a lie. It's a high interest savings account, but it's basically the highest rate that I've been able to get for an account that is flexible. So with this account, I can take my money in and out whenever I want to. It basically appears in my account within a few hours, my normal like, current account. In case you're wondering, the account is with Marcus from Goldman and Sachs. I found this through a friend recommending it, but since then I've seen that it's actually one of the top easy access savings accounts recommended on, I think it's Money Supermarket or Money Saving Expert, one of those two. But essentially I came to realize that a lot of my bills, I wasn't really paying until the end of the month. So my money was kind of just sitting there in my current account for the majority of the month. So what I started doing and it works and I will just tell you what to be careful of in a second. But basically what I've done is as soon as I get paid on that last working day of the month, I transfer that money that I'm not going to be paying until the end of the month. So like my rent, my mortgage, like the big bills that come out right in like the last week of the month. I transfer that into my high interest savings and then I make interest on it for those three weeks. And then I just withdraw the money when it's time to pay the bills. So I think my rent comes out first. So I transfer the money from my rent into my current account. The remainder still sitting there in earning interest. And then I think my mortgage I pay like two or three days before payday. So I only withdraw that like a day before that. So considering my interest is paid daily, I'm basically making interest on that significant balance for that month. So. This is just like a little extra hack just to boost the amount of savings that you're getting. That's not right. <laughs> and a really bad morning. What I mean is this is a great way just to make a little bit extra cash from your money. What I mean is that it's a great little way just to make a little bit of extra money through interest rates for money that's otherwise going to be earning like nothing. The one thing to watch out for is a, make sure that the savings account you're putting your money into is one that allows you to access your money quickly. You don't want to be putting your money for your bills into an account where you find out later on it takes like a few days to withdraw the money. I mean, you could still do that. Just make sure you're aware of how long it takes to withdraw that money and make sure you withdraw it before your bills are due. And the second thing is this only works if your interest is calculated on a daily basis. Now. I think that's the most common way for most sort of accounts and things, but just double check that. Like I have seen a couple accounts where interest is calculate, calculated monthly, but thankfully my one I realized was a daily thing and that I could just withdraw like that. So it works. I've earned a few extra pounds just doing that and it might not seem like a lot, but the balance I transfer, I mean, it. It's a significant amount of money, but it's not that much. But it's still like those few extra pounds is money I wouldn't have got otherwise. That's then sitting in my savings account anyway, that I'm then making more interest on top of it. So compound interest starts to take effect. So it's definitely worth doing. It's essentially trying to make the most out of cash that you can't put into savings because you have to use it for bills, but you're trying to make the most out of it just before you pay your bills. Of course, this doesn't work if your bills are paid right at the start of the month but I've set all of mine up so that they are paid pretty much all in the last week of the month. Just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, I don't think there is. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will answer them as soon as I can down below. 
and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or helpful and let me know if you decide to try this trick and see if it works for you. Enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever it is where you're watching. Bye!